Welcome to Thought for the Day on this Thursday morning. Some words from the prophet Isaiah. All may see and know, all may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The prophet Isaiah speaks to a hard-pressed people, exiled for a whole generation in Babylon. On the one hand, he taunts the people, comparing them to worms and insects. They'd all learn to live in subservience to their Babylonian conquerors. They were at the bottom of the pile and they knew it. They had learned to survive in a foreign land. On the other hand, the prophet promises them a new confidence in the face of their captors, a freedom from feeling less of a human being in the face of others who had rank and status. The world was literally being turned upside down. There was, too, the promise of a way home from exile, a way that was long and arduous in the collective memories of the people, mile upon mile of desert, mountains and the wilderness. In place of that, there will be rivers, springs and pools to refresh the thirsty, tall, luxurious trees to provide shade from the burning sun and food from the trees during the journey. This was a bit of a nod to Babylon, the city they lived in, with its famous hanging gardens and ceremonial robes. But what God was going to do was more spectacular. The promises describe a vast re-landscaping of a terrain that would make the great city look irrelevant in comparison. Advent challenges us to look again at our lives. Have we got used to fitting into the mold the world will fit us into? Advent promises that God's gift will be far more generous than we could possibly imagine. Let us pray. Lord, use our gifts to lighten the darkness of those living in shadows, to restore dignity to those robbed of their humanity, to lift the humble and to fill the hungry with good things. Until your kingdom is built with love and justice and all your people are free. Amen.